locker behind, up here on the right. And we ask you to please take a seat when we pull in or out of the dock. That's the only time you need to be seated. We go round the this marina over to stop six, our best stop on the beach. This is part three of the water taxi at Fort Lauderdale. This is Don Cowboy Biker Adventures. This guy's from Sebring, Florida, and he bought this yacht two years ago when he became a billionaire selling cars. Yeah, $27 million he paid for that yacht. That's a billionaire in Sebring, Florida. looking for here is Italian Mangusta jet drive no propeller that's a jet ski on steroids and the W owned by Dave McNeil 80 million dollars you know even though it's privately owned you can get on that boat for a week Half a million dollars, if you want to go anywhere, it's going to cost a lot more. Yeah, they start the clock about $2,000 an hour if you're going to offer it that thing. Lucky Anna Starr, her husband Ken Starr, in the beverage business, you know, his rival has a bigger yacht than that called Rockstar. Yeah, next time you pay four fifty dollars for a Rockstar energy soda, you know where the money's going. Big money. Yeah, that's a Westport. You have to stay in Washington. Westport. Maybe you're not a boater. How about a nice big house? They built this house so big there's no backyard. They put the pool on the rooftop. Those two towers are elevators. There's a 10 car garage under the house. And that was a graduation gift. Yeah, a lady from the Middle East, she went to Berkeley and dad bought her that house. She didn't want to go back to the Middle East. I guess now she's selling the house, she's moving on. Bob Brook lives locally, that's his yacht. He started out like Donald Trump in the real estate business in New York City. Now he's in the, his next passion besides yachting, that's his 17th yacht, is jets. Yeah, he owns a jet maintenance company. Starship was used in three seasons of Below Deck, any fans of the TV show. It was also used in the Baywatch movie, brought down to Miami for the movie. Uh, Act of Valor is a movie with the Marines in it. They used it in that movie. Uh, a crime drama called The Glades. It's a Delta. And, uh, that's Bernie Little's family. They were one of the biggest Budweiser series in the country, this Budweiser race team. That one, Starship. And the gallant lady, she's sister ship to the other one around the corner, Acta. This is custom made in 2002 for J Jim Moran. Jim Moran was from Chicago. And Jim was a used car salesman. He made his name with Ford Motor Company. Then he found Toyota. And that's where he made his big money. Toyota Distributor, JM Enterprises. Uh, his family, very generous. Uh, gave a lot of money away to children's hospitals. They always take the kids out on Christmas cruises from the hospital. And uh, Jim Moran's family. Still very, very uh, popular family around here. Okay kids, this is where you'll find about 35 restaurants to choose from. The best souvenir shopping, all kinds of activities to sign up for. Get yourself a new outfit for the cruise, new shades. 
sign up for uh, the fishing charter party boat. Uh, they leave from here, fishing headquarters. You're minutes away from the third largest reef in the world. So once again, kids, you want to get down on the beach, get your soft serve ice cream after lunch. They've got that right here. Uh, the best people watching bar in Broward County is right on the corner of right here called the Elbow Room. If you enjoyed the trip, please consider a tip. Okay, we got a brief stop here. If it's long, I will fast forward through it. But that's about all the editing I can do is fast forward through things, uh, crop the beginning and the end of the video, and that's it. And change the lighting level and uh, the level of the uh, volume. And that's all I can do for these videos. And about as long as I can make them is about 23 minutes. Somewhere between 18 and 23 minutes it divides it out. And I can't stitch them together. So this is still part three. We have another beach stop up here on the north end by the uh, brand new uh, Four Seasons and Casablanca Cafe. And that's uh, convenient to a lot of hotels up here. Seville Street. It doesn't have a number. We, uh, we pull in on request. It's called a whistle stop. I, didn't, I forgot to sit down again. I'm supposed to sit down at docks. I'll definitely have to tip. There's them. a spirit of Lauderdale. There she is. Coming Enjoying the commentary, telling us about these homes and businesses and yachts on along the way. It really makes it more interesting. This is where Las Olas Boulevard meets Sea Breeze Boulevard, and this is where all the uh, city property is being re completely re rebuilt. Uh, they've got the Oceanside Park here. Now Saturday is the big Great American Beach Party. It's set up for all kinds of activities. They're gonna have water slides and all kinds of festival activities here. All day on Saturday, so this is the place. Oceanside Park right here. That's city parking with the uh, funny little outdoor lights. That those are a million LED lights. We may get to see a drawbridge like open here. here. You know, the, uh, the neighborhood. It'll probably be behind us. So just too bright. After we kind of pass of over it, under uh, it, I should say. They try not to turn up too bright and keep them down a During the process of rebuilding the old Los Olas City Marina, turning the old marina into a world-class marina to accommodate larger boats, they've been working on this now for a couple of years. There it restaurants, goes. retail, the drawbridge is open. Offices. Look back. It's quite the project. Well, if you can afford it, you can keep your boat here. If you want, it, if you can afford it. goes. The 
recipe for this boat. Seville Street, a whistle stop. This stop is convenient to the Western Hotel, the W, the Atlantic, the Hilton, the Paramount, Conrad. A bunch of nice small hotels back here. Right over there. Anyone for Seville, the whistle stop?
lots of inventory coming up. A few new condos going in over here. Wayne, this is more our price range right down here, right? And this is this more our price range up here north, right? <laughs> more our price price range. Not even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not many people lived here before air conditioning. They didn't get air conditioning down here until the fifties. Ridiculous. I can't even afford the smaller boats. And that's how you live without Jordan air conditioning. Forces, we still be out of our you don't see right. those anymore. Anybody remember those jealousy windows? That's how you got a breeze off the ocean. Yep. And this building's for sale. Two-story white building, 10 units for 12 million. about 20 years ago called La Cascade and back then they were starting about half a million. Make a wake. Yeah, today's a very popular guest house with its own water taxi stop. This is only this is a Thursday just before Memorial Day weekend. Here's another condo that was built about 20 years ago called La Reeve. Seven, but I'm not going to end part three here. Yeah, I think there's the boat, guys. I have another 30 minutes right up to the end. It's got the air conditioning and the padded seats and a full bar. Take a snooze, get rid of that jet lag, and you go upstairs work on your team. I'm going to sit down. This time I remember.
get out of his way so he can pull in here. Okay, if this is long stop, I will fast forward through it. Otherwise, hang tight for more sights to see.